Changes could be coming to the Houston Film Commission five months after Channel 2 Investigates discovered a lackluster performance by the commissioner's L.A. representative. Our reports uncovered a hefty salary and housing allowance for the L.A. rep with no big Hollywood movies or television shows landed for Houston. Tonight, the CEO of Houston First, which oversees that commission, is signaling a new direction. Investigator Mario Diaz has the letter detailing her change of tone and reaction from members of city council. The presence in L.A. is to sell Houston. She is selling Houston. Houston First CEO Brenda Bazan defends the Houston Film Commission Los Angeles representative Sharon Adams. Channel 2 Investigates' months-long investigation revealed Houston First using public dollars to subsidize Adams' L.A. lifestyle including her nearly $175,000 a year salary and $4,400 a month for her to live in this condo, a short walk from Beverly Hills. We also discovered Adams and her boss, Rick Ferguson, each makes $100,000 more than the film commission director in Austin, a city with a much better track record of attracting TV and film production. Adams landed the L.A. gig in October 2015, reassigned with Bazan's blessing from her role as Houston First's chief communications officer. The publicly funded corporation admits the full-time six-figure job was never posted. What credentials did she have? Did she have any film credentials? I know she has a journalism background, but I... but. What she's out there doing is selling Houston. Bazan made another key point in our interview. We're using a business model, a proven business model, that has been successful. Less than two months after our first report, we heard a change in tone from Bazan herself. The proven business model Bazan touted in May was suddenly a three-year pilot program. In a letter to Channel 2, Bazan signaled a possible change, stating, as we approach the three-year mark, we will conduct a review to determine the most efficient and cost-effective path forward. Yes, I mean, the economic multiplier, there are a number of commercials, they're not the big fams. In June, Mayor Sylvester Turner acknowledged the lackluster results of the L.A. office after our investigation revealed Adams failed to land a single major television series or blockbuster movie project in nearly three years. Channel 2's investigation sparked many questions from city council members. A well, proven business model is one that has a return on your investment that supersedes anything that you're putting on the expense side. So proven, I'm not sure about that. A proven business model. That's what Ms. Bazan said. A proven business model. I haven't seen any business model. I haven't seen any documentation of a proven business model. And I think that that needs to come forward. Bazan's internal evaluation is not the only one in the works. On July 11th, the city's fiscal watchdog, Controller Chris Brown, announced a complete audit of Houston First in 2019. Council member Dave Martin, who serves on the Houston First board, says it may be time to rewrite the script at the Houston Film Commission. In lieu of your reporting and your investigative journalism, I think it's something that has been brought to our attention, and I think we need to make some changes. Channel 2 Investigates requested an update from Houston First regarding its review of the Film Commission's future. The organization responded, acknowledging a review was taking place as part of its budget and planning for 2019. The organization also adding, this process, which is currently underway, certainly includes the Houston Film Commission and its Los Angeles initiative. Bill and Dominique Channel 2 Investigates also has learned from Houston First that Adams remains based in Los Angeles mm -hmm. as the Houston Film Commission's representative. Okay. okay. Thank you, Mario, Mario? for the update. Yeah.